What's great about grassroots tournaments is that they're often founded on the intention of settling an argument about who the best player is. Building a foundation on competition like this is what gives a trophy its meaning after all. This requires maintaining competitive integrity with rule sets developed with the community and enforcing them. Making bizarre rules or colluding is how you weaken what are basically the pillars that prop up the FGC. The meaning behind the trophy is also determined by who is at the tournament. Because some of the best players in the world live in Japan and Asia, many of them can't afford to spend the money and time to go all the way to EVO in Las Vegas, which is why EVO Japan makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense! Every time there's an EVO, there's always a bunch of random Japanese killers, right? But over here, there's just a ton of Japanese killers because they can all easily come here, right? So in terms of skill level, I would say it's very close, but this one may be a little harder. Like we already had Tokido lose in pools to a guy named Powell, who was a master rank Kami. That's a guy, for example, that probably could not get to the American Evil, right? Needless to say, Japan is a country with a profound respect for its video game culture. If Prime Minister Shinzo Abe cosplaying as Super Mario at the Olympics doesn't convince you of this, then take a trip to Akihabara where you can OD on nostalgia at retro game shops with their stacks of old consoles and games. When it comes to arcades, the legends were true. The buttons and levers are always in excellent condition because they're consistently maintained. If someone gets salty and rage pours their soda all over the controls at the mall, you don't have to wait a month for them to fix it. EVO Japan's Day 1 and Day 2 felt like a low-key version of recent vanilla EVOs and entry and registration were both free. It took place in Ikebukuro at a multi-storied building in two separate rooms, Hall A and Hall B. Hall A was a story below and was basically a bunch of setups for pools, but there were arcade cabinets in the corner for 16 different side tournaments including Vampire Savior and Third Strike. Hall B was the bigger room where you're greeted with some free Red Bull and Nissan Cup noodles which sponsored the event in case you haven't noticed. In addition to pools, this hall is where they streamed matches of the main games with one of them projected on this wall, and the commentators were very close to the audience and players. In one corner they had a stage with a large screen and lots of seats for top 8 matches of certain games. Of course, they also had booths where you can buy stick parts, get your picture with some SNK heroines, and play upcoming games like Fighting EX Layer, Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle, and Soul Calibur 6. You have no idea how much I am excited to play Soul Calibur 6. I have already played today. They get tickets to play the game and I took several tickets to play it. So I'm a big fan of the game since I was seven years old. Some people know me for Street Fighter because I won the EVO 2010 for female. But my real game is Soul Calibur. The amount of space was pretty large for a city like Tokyo, but at peak times it got a bit crowded, which might indicate that the turnout was bigger than expected. You know, right now, this is the first year, so it's going to be a lot of people trying to learn the ropes, really trying to run something like this, a 2200-man tournament here. EVO US, EVO in Vegas, I mean, they've been doing that for, for 2002 was the first EVO, so 15 years, 16 years now, so it is definitely a very well-oiled machine. Day 3 took place at Akiba Square in Akihabara. Tickets for this sold out very quickly, and when you enter you can see why. The whole place got packed, and it became apparent that people traveled far to watch the finals. But because of strict anti-gambling laws in Japan, the games with prize money each had only a little over 9,000 US dollars to be split among the winners. But despite a low amount of prize money for a tournament of this scale and not having pro tour support, the locals and non-locals still came out by the thousands and even broke registration records for KOF, Blaze Blue, and Guilty Gear for some of the most competitive matches in the history of these games. That was one of the best sets of fighting games I've ever seen in my life. Woo! I've never, I've... That's a lot to say, bro. Steve, when you watch them fight, I'm telling you, man, if I can give you guys any advice at home... Go check it out. Don't look away. This one is gonna mean something, I'm telling you. At the heart of it all, the competition is amplified by allowing anyone to enter, which in turn fuels the prestige that these three and a half pound pieces of glass carry, something that cannot easily be replaced by money or esports licenses. Evo라는 대회가 꿈 같은 올림픽 같은 월드컵 같은 느낌, 뭔가 말로는 표현할 수 없는 그런 큰 의미를 가지고 다가온다고 생각해요. 그래서 Evo라는 대회 자체를 사